Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, before I start the video, thank you so much for your well wishes. Thank you so much for your support over the time. Thank you so much for your tips and tricks. I was extremely sick and now finally I'm somewhat better. Probably you can still hear it. I'm not at 100%, but thank God I am good enough to record some videos. Guys, today we're going to react to Can Science Prove the Existence of God by Rational Believer? So for me, coming out of the sickness, hearing this question, can science prove the existence of God, seems a little bit silly to me to be fair. I know that it is very interesting nowadays, but this is really what it boils down to. It is a question of this day and age. In this Western society nowadays, people praise science as their God. And because of that, we have to look at everything through the lens of science. Can science prove that God exists? No. <laughs> then there is no God. It's absolutely ridiculous. It is atheist logic, or rather the lack of logic. If you look into the questions of metaphysics, you cannot dodge philosophy. This is not a scientific question. When we are talking about God, we have to ask the big questions, the truth claims, and this is a philosophical endeavor and not a scientific one. But nevertheless, I do understand why we need such a video in this day and age. All right, but I have to save my voice. With no further ado, let's have a look. Ya Rabbi, Ya Rabbi, inni ask you The famous question posed by many people nowadays is that can science prove God? And what oh, they really true. mean by that is can science discover God? For understanding this, we need to distinguish the difference between proof and discovery. To prove means to establish a fact or a truth by evidence or argument. And discovering by definition is to see, to find out or to gain sight or knowledge of something which was previously unseen or unknown. In short, to discover means that something should be seen or witnessed by humans' naked eyes. Whereas to prove something means to provide evidences, reasoning or rational arguments in order to establish a fact, and it doesn't depend on our eyesight. However, science can always discover the signature of God in nature, which means science can always prove the existence of God through evidences. But through science, we can never discover God in this world. Now the question arises why science can prove God but cannot discover Him. The answer for this is Almighty Creator gives some sort of evidences or clues into His creation so that human being can accept His existence and to believe in Him. However, no human being or science can ever discover God because this life is a test for us and Allah created us and gave us limited abilities to be tested with. Yes, exactly. Limited abilities which translates into lower intelligence, which translates into lower capacity of understanding greater realities. And therefore, no matter what kind of scientific tools we will use, we are still not able with our limited minds to understand God. Even if he would be right in front of us right now in our state, we wouldn't even recognize him. Get what I mean? Suppose that you are a professional modeler who uses a strong modeling software and creates a project in which there are people with consciousness. It means that the models that you have created are having the power of intellect, and you put a test for them to find you. Now if you think logically, they have only two options to find you or to prove your existence in order to accept you as their creator. The first option for them is to discover you or to see you. But of course you don't want that, because it is a test and if you show yourself to them, 
then the test becomes meaningless. And logically, they I believe it was a Christian Orthodox Church father that said that if there would be ultimate 100% accurate scientific proof of God, then God wouldn't be loving. Because in order for God to be loved by you, he gives you free will and that love is unconditional. His love to you is unconditional and therefore you have the free choice to love God, to decide to live for God. But if there would be 100% proof of of God in this world, you would have no choice but to believe in God. Do you understand? And that is the beauty of it. Like this, you have the choice to believe in God or not. Otherwise, you would have to. And discover you because you are out of this created project. So if they can't discover you, it doesn't mean that you don't exist. But the second option is that you send them signs and evidences and you also give them the power of intellect. They can find you through those evidences and their logic. It is like you have given them some tips for this test. And if they still don't accept your existence through those evidences, then it means that they are arrogant. Okay. I don't think this video is well presented, to be honest. The example is given to have an understanding of how a creature can be limited by its creator. Yeah, we understood. The created model is bound in an environment with specified laws like force, acceleration and movement with a specified time scale which are controlled by you. Yeah, the matrix, the physical world. <clears throat> So the model can only discover those things which are within that bound environment. And because of his limited mind, he thinks that nothing exists beyond this specified environment. Yes, this basic simulation theory, which of course appeals to the Western mind. What if this is a simulation? What if there is a creator that created a simulation? How would the simulation interact with the creator? It's a good little example, but I would say that the creator, God, is of course much vaster than anybody that could create an artificial intelligence. But take in consideration that even if you make such a project, still you can't be the ultimate creator for that. Exactly. Thank you. That's what I just meant. Because the elements which are being used in this project, like the electricity, the predetermined patterns of the project, your brain, etc., were created by a superior being. Exactly. Irregular AI simulation, whatnot, sims, now think of your is not comparable to this. Yourself, you, your project, the world in which you live, and the entire universe are all created by a superior being. Sure. Don't you think that you are made in a mega computer? Actually, not a computer, but in a mega creation box? So when we are inside this creation box, we can just touch, test, see, smell or hear anything which is physically inside this creation box. Sure. So these five senses help us to discover things which have connection with physics. But there are other things like love, like feelings, like intellect, meaning your mind. These things cannot be described physically. I mean, you cannot see, touch, smell or test your feelings. Or you cannot discover love or your mind through these senses. Does it mean that you don't have mind or there is no love because you cannot see, touch or smell them? Of course they exist, but you cannot discover them physically. You can prove their existence through signs and evidences and yep. using your logic. You could technically go to a neurologist and they would show you that certain synapses, neurons are firing in your brain when you're in love. Or you could go to an endocrinologist and they would tell you there are certain hormones affecting you when you're in love. So there are definitely certain evidences that could be shown scientifically, but nevertheless that wouldn't ask the deep, deep question of what is love? What is love? The sign for a because sad that's feeling philosophy. is crying. Or when you analyze the outcome of something, it is an evidence for your mind or your intellect. 
So don't think that God is inside this creation box and you can discover him like any other thing. Because anything which is discoverable is not God at the first place. He's beyond this universe and even beyond your imagination. You cannot discover him by the laws of physics, because physics discovers anything which is bounded by the laws of physics. And Allah is not bounded by the laws of nature. <coughs> so anything which is limited by these laws is not God. That's why you cannot discover him, but his existence is proven through evidences and logic. Everything that we must verify has to be touch and feel. Yeah. yeah. But let me tell you something. If God could be touched and felt and seen, would that be God? Would that, would that be well, God? It wouldn't really be a test of belief, would it? Because you would know It's, it's not even just a belief, because God actually says there's good reasons to believe in Him. For example, look, do you believe you had a great, 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 great grandma? No. Do you believe I you mean, had a... Yeah, but I mean, there's, there's obviously, I know that because obviously Why? I'm here now. Oh, exactly. Yeah, but, but that's exactly the point. Have you ever seen your great, 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 great grandma? You don't have access to a DNA? I know a scientifically, I, w I would have to have one to be here. How, 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 well, I don't know. <laughs> See, that's the point. Using the terminology here, scientifically, you have no clue. You have no clue. Scientifically, you're damn. Science say we can only verify the physical world and things that we can touch and feel. Mm. This is a non verifiable thing. Yeah. The only way you know you got a great, 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 great grandma is because you're here. You've made a logical, rational decision. Not based on the physical world, based on necessity. The complexity of this universe and the laws of nature The only difference would be, I'm playing devil's advocate here, the only difference would be that you would have a biological necessity for a great 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 grandmother to be here, but from the atheist perspective you wouldn't have a biological necessity for a creator. Of course that's absolutely ridiculous, I agree with this man, I have to laugh myself, but nevertheless that's what the atheist would say. They would simply base it on evolution, a biological process that came into being through a Big Bang. Who created the Big Bang? Nobody knows. This is sufficient evidence for them. Are all evidences for existence <laughs> of a wise creator who has designed them in such a precise manner. So if you don't see him, it doesn't mean that he doesn't exist. The universe actually may have a purpose and some physicists are now suggesting it does have a purpose. <laughs> and this has come out of... Big shock. Some it has a purpose. Wow. Ab ...about the atomic... I really don't understand how people can go through their life and somehow derive meaning in the perception that everything comes from no meaning. Fundamental numbers how? in atomic physics. These are numbers like the mass, the weight of an electron, the weight of a quark, the strength of gravity, the strength of the electromagnetic field. About 20 numbers that describe those and other parameters, features of our world, but nobody knows why it is that those numbers have the particular values that they do. Now, you could easily say, yeah, who really cares? You change the mass of the electron by a little bit more, a little bit less, does it really matter? And the answer is it does. Of course. See, it turns out that if you imagine that we had 20 dials right here, and we could fiddle with those 20 numbers at will, even a small change to the values of the known values of those numbers would cause the world as we know it to disappear. Uh, for example, if we go back to say one second after the Big Bang, uh, at that point, the expansion rate and the mass density have to have been adjusted to each other just right uh, so that the universe is just at this critical point. Uh, if the universe at that point were expanding just one part in the 15th decimal place faster, the universe would have flown apart without galaxies ever having had a chance to form. On the other hand, if the expansion rate were just a little slower than what we think by one change, change of one in the 15th decimal place, uh, then the universe uh, would in fact have expanded to a maximum size and collapsed. We would never have even reached the time in the universe at which we're living. A natural question. The atheists will claim that's just luck. The question that many people ask when confronted with this is How? who designed it so that they all fit together so perfectly to give rise to our world? Is it merely an accident? Yes. Is there some force of nature that's out there that requires the universe to be as it is? Or is there some conscious being behind it all that has dialed things in a manner to allow... No, let's just say we became conscious, but the creation process itself is totally unconscious and behind it is of course not a conscious creator. How Atheist logic. Know it to come into being. What we can do is look for evidence that suggests that 
that we're not here out of total random events. And to me, the arrangement, the special balancing of the fundamental constants, the fundamental forces of nature, tells me that, that there is a being there that has put this package together, which has constructed this universe, someone outside the universe, that was thinking about us and put it together for our benefit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is great and majestic. He preserves himself in a majestic way that befits him. He doesn't want to reveal himself to the world except by his power and knowledge. And Allah created us in a way that we are not capable to see him in this world. But this will be the greatest reward of the people in Jannah to see their creator. We must consider that we are being tested in this world by believing in God without seeing him. Blessed are those that believe without seeing. Alright guys, and this is it for today's video, this is it for the first reaction video back since I was sick. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, I truly appreciate it. As said in the beginning, I personally don't see the question of God as a scientific one. However, I do understand that this video has value for the current mind state that we're finding ourselves in. Everything has to be examined scientifically and we have to debunk the atheists even though atheists lack basic logic. Anyways, this is it for today's video guys if you liked it do me a favor leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so share the videos if you can if you can support the links are in the description box patreon etc thank you so much for your ongoing support i truly appreciate it and as always may god bless you all much love and peace